Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Thurs. This is Gundam Battle Operation, and I am in the Zaku Half Cannon. It's an interesting mobile suit. It's got a ton of weapons, and I'm really not quite sure what the best one for each situation is yet. On top of which, I decided to take the uh, Zaku Machine Gun variant with the uh, Grenade Launcher, so it's going to be a thing. It, I spend a lot of time in this round shuffling through weapons trying to decide which one is the best to use or trying to pick one to try or like that and also I'm just not playing very well as you can see from the fact that I am very much separated from my team this was foolish but the smoke launcher is important to use it causes stealth I believe if it works like the uh, uh, various fruit variants uh, smoke launchers and it also uh gives a defense buff, so the defense buff is a very important thing. You should be using it. It's good. And, yeah, I'm just not really uh, on the ball here with how to use this. It's got the uh, Zaku Heavy Weapons types mess uh, missile launchers, and those are always great. So, again, it's just a matter of knowing when and how to use these things. Probably I should be using the big gun to... Uh, stun things, and then either comboing into the Gatling or the leg missiles, depending probably on range. But yeah, I, I did not think it through that much. Good news is it's fairly well defended. I didn't have the smoke on there, and the uh, melee attack didn't do as much as I expected, so that's something. Of course, this is the level 5, so that probably helps. And I'm getting beat up because I'm surrounded, and that's just normal, and I got myself surrounded, so no big deal. Yeah, I was not really playing that well Friday night, it was hot, and just, I was distracted, so, not a lot of good rounds to com uh, come out of that, but I've saved them all and will probably end up posting them in due time. Yeah, that Gatling does pretty good damage, though. If I can get some more slots on this and upgrade its shooting correction, I can probably make something fairly formidable. Right now, just trying to get the big gun, but he was still invincible, so we'll just use missiles when hopefully I'm not hitting Ray in, with the uh, with said missiles. But yeah, missiles worked. Missiles are good. Need the uh, defense buff on the smoke. There we go. But yeah, I've got the, uh, the official... It's just the standard Zaku machine gun, basically, but its official designation is the MMP-78 with grenade launcher. The difference being that, uh, unlike the original Zaku machine gun and its wacky you know, stock, the MMP-78 is the exact same design, except it has basically a real-life uh, AR-15 rifle stock on the back. I always have mixed feelings about that. The, I just... Something about human weapons on mobile... You know, giant-sized human weapons on mobile suits bothers me. Uh, there's a variant of the Riga Z, which is just carrying a beam rifle that's just straight up an AK-47, and that bugs me. I don't know why, it's just something I was never fond of, so, yeah, the, the less real-worldy your mobile suit w uh, weapons look, the better to me. You can make them look, you know, utilitarian and sleek and all that, just don't have it stand there holding a bleeding M16. That's all I ask. But yeah, I'm... Like I said, playing poorly, I should probably be keeping more of a distance, but it's it's a little bit f faster on its feet, I think, than the Zaku J-Type. So, it's more tempting to get in close. And it's, you know, it's fairly capable at mid-range. It doesn't have any, you know, close-range defense, as mo uh, most Xeon support types don't. But yeah, okay, good. The big gun does stun. We've seen that now. And... Yeah, like I said, it's just getting a handle on the best situations to use this in and where to position myself and, all, and you know, cycle the weapons and all that. I'm doing okay, but I was not there yet, and probably won't be the next two or three times I play it. But it does have a lot of wep uh, weapons to choose from, and a lot of different, you know, combos you can pull, which is why I started to say weapos, because I'm tired and it's hot. Uh, I'm doing this as early in the morning as I can, so I can just, you know get this before the whole house heats up. Summer sucks, I hate it. And it's not and it's barely even July. This is gonna get great. But yeah, I 
I really like this thing. I was looking for a clear shot on that, did not get it, and got stabbed in the back. And just, you know, trying my best to uh, be some kind of use and not a liability, and I think I do okay. We're trailing, and I think we either win this one or we uh, lose by the barest of margins. It ends up being a super close round, so... You know, that's, that's not bad. Again, just now I'm just fidget. Uh, that Ifrit keeps sneaking up on me while I'm fidgeting for weapons. One, I'm not uh, paying enough attention to my radar. And two, if it's got, I believe the st stock Ifrit has the smoke launcher too. So it's probably just stealthing up on me while I'm uh, not paying enough attention. Tackled a little too early to stop that gym. Trying to get my smoke launch to minimize def uh, damage, but it is not happening. Luckily, the Efreet missed its downswing, and Zero was there to help back me up, so... Ah, it could have been much worse. Like, missing my tackle and just being a sitting duck there. That's not good. I'm amazed that the, uh, that gym didn't catch me. It could have, as you can see. Just trying to get in position. My turn speed is a little low, because I'm a support type. So, yeah, trying to get a good angle on that is not good. Launch the smoke, but I have so few hit points left, it doesn't make a huge difference. Did manage to keep the Efreet stunned, though, and get some damage in on its legs before they moved in on me. As far as I'm concerned, that tackle should have been a counter, and if it had, I would have survived at least a little longer, but such is life. Coming back in again, this is assault mode, which I didn't mention, but with instant respawns, I'm sure you can guess. And round's almost over. I think somebody else got that guy while I was trying to get that guy. But yeah, we lost. It was a relatively close loss, but yeah. Last night was just a bunch... Or Friday night was just a bunch of rough rounds for me. Uh, the next video is actually going to be from uh, Avocado Zala's All Day Saturday stream. So, I uh, hope you made it to that. Apologies, I did not get a... Uh, a video up sooner so I could advertise it better, but it's just, I had a lot of stuff to do yesterday, and yesterday was kind of exhausting, so I'm glad I got a chance to drop in and uh, play a couple rounds with those guys, because it, uh, it was fun. Naturally, the best one of them I didn't record, but I'll go into that more in the next video. And yes, our final loading screen montage is a, uh, Thanks for the memories kind of thing, with, with just a bunch of different scenes of mobile suits and things from the game. Because, at the, as of this recording, there are 29 days left to gun and battle operation. So, enjoy it while you can. It's been a fun game, I've met a lot of great people, and I'm going to miss it. But, that is going to do it for today's gun and battle operation. We will be back soon with more. And, until next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later!